Hi, it's Gwen Fox and welcome to the channel. Please subscribe, leave a comment below anytime you want. I would love to hear from you. Now, the last video we did, we started the demo. We put on the charcoal and we did all of that. It's to the stage that it is right here. And now we're going to really dig in and paint. And the reason we didn't paint before is because all of this was wet and now it isn't wet, so now we can paint. So this is the fun part and I love it. I love it. I love uh, creating this. So now let me kind of explain and go over. This part is going to be black. This is going to be black. This is going to be red. And then it's going to be neutrals throughout. I love neutrals and I bet you could know that. If you've been watching this channel, you know I am a neutral freak. So now if it's going to be black underneath, I don't necessarily want it black underneath. I want to put some color here that's going to show through and add some vibrancy. And look at that. Oh, God, isn't that gorgeous? That is so beautiful. This is just transparent orange with a little of Indian yellow mixed into it. And yes, I'm going out of the lines. I'm not going to stay in the lines at all. Um, just because lines are boring. I don't want lines. And I am using the squeegee. This is a board, a cradle board. So it, it, um, it really goes well with the squeegee. This is going to eventually be black as well. So now I'm going to put on some asphaltum. Asphaltum, as you know, is a transparent color and it's just, just lovely. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. This is going to give me a feel for, am I, do I have my colors, I mean, my design right? So far, so good. Like it. Still on asphaltum. Still working with this because I, I like having the see-through effect. So building the design. I will use a brush, but right now I just want to use this. See how, see how this just glows. I'm sure I'll probably mess it up a little bit, but that's okay. I can, I can do that because I know how to get back out of it. So now I'm going to mix some white and I'm going to Kind of run in here like that little square, so why not keep it? I'm going to keep some of the little blue marks and the lines. I like them, and I think that will be. You know, I get rid of it if I don't want it, but it's hard to get it back. I 
Now I'm going to take some white. Now you need to stand back and look at this because I'm thinking, I wonder if this is, if the design is good, if it's not, but I still like the design. And then I'm just gonna go for some black. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get in here and get going on this. I just happen to like black and red. I think they're a dynamic duo, so to speak. Having the design in mind before I start is a lifesaver as far as I'm concerned. I love having that, that thought out. Now we'll have to put some dark over here. to kind of balance it a little bit, but those are too much the same size. So that means that you've just got, I've got to come in and, and make it a little bit different. squeaks, doesn't it? Now I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to smear this around a little bit more. And I might leave some of this blue because I kind of like it. I said in one of my videos, what's the color that sells the most or the best? And it is red, a beautiful red. Geez, I like this, it's coming along. I mean, I think it's going to just be awesome. So we'll see, I mean, it's uh, one never knows until you really get to it. And I'm gonna put a little blue in my black, just to bring that out. Make it a nice, warm blue there, that's gonna be pretty. I think I'll add a little bit more, a little bit more, maybe here. See, now that I have my design down, now I play. Now I can play, and I can play as much as I want because I know my design.
have to wipe off the squeegee every once in a while. It kind of gathers too much. Now, I know it looks really probably very um, haphazard right now, but we're just at the beginning of this, and it's so much fun. I can't tell you how much fun this is. This is just pure joy to paint like this, to to be able to to do this. I mean, my gosh, are we not the luckiest people in the entire planet to be able to do this and have this? I love it. Oh, guys, we are lucky. I love waking up in the morning and knowing that what I'm going to do is make a painting. I'm going to create something and I'm going to love it. But you know, I will fight it. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll, I'll fight this till the nth degree because that's just how it is. But you know, paintings for me aren't necessarily quick to be born. Let's put it that way. They're not quick to be worn, but they will be born. Now, they may not be what I started out to be. They may not be the design, because I just finished one that was also black and red, which started this, because I just thought, I'm just going to do a series of black and reds. It started out one way. I goofed on it. I redrew the thumbnail on the painting again, and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So I just took my squeegee, and I just went over the whole thing, and I turned it turned out to be awesome. So I'll make sure that I post that as well. So you can kind of see that, but I'll show you the process. Because sometimes we are so determined to make it what we see rather than what we feel that it makes a huge difference. And so we're not open. We're not open to hearing what the painting wants to say. And what causes us to get stuck, if we get stuck in a painting and we don't know what to do, we're really not stuck, guys. We just are too busy in our minds in, in We've got this monkey mind that's just going crazy. No, you're supposed to be this. No, you're supposed to be that. Now, guess what? Here's, here's what we do. We need to be silent because creativity comes from silence. It comes from silence. And it is the gap between the thoughts. That's where your genius lies. That's where it all is. So hang on to those silent moments. And when you get frustrated and you can't make a painting come, then make sure that you tune in to who you are. Let go of all of the stuff in the air, all the things you've got to do. It's not important. Then you listen to yourself, and the painting will speak. So that's, that's my little bit for the day. And I, uh, I'm going to work on this, but I will get back with you in the next video on it because I've got to let it kind of sit a little bit because I don't want it turned to mud. So I will... See you in the next video. Leave a comment. I love hearing your comments, and I answer every single one of them. So you take care. Be safe. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.